What happened after that happened? The Bible says, and the tree covered their nakedness. The tree, which is the fig tree, covered their nakedness. This is the reason when God reached, when Jesus saw a fig tree, which had tried to take its place in heaven, when he found it, not giving fruits, which is its actual work, he cursed it. He said, in heaven you try to do a job that is not yours. Now on earth you're not doing the one which is yours. You are now cursed. Lorsque Adam a péché, il s'est couvert de, 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 de feuilles, de feuilles d'un arbre. Euh, mais Jésus, lorsque Jésus est venu sur terre, il a vu un, un fuguier qui ne donnait pas du fruit. En d'autres termes, au ciel, euh, Adam a s'est couvert avec les fuguiers, ce qui n'était pas le travail du fuguier. Ici sur terre, ça ne donnait pas le fruit. C'est pour cela que Jésus l'a maudit. Because if you look at the tree, it was in the Bible actually specifically depicts it as a tree that was not in season. It was out of season. And God says, I want fruits on that tree. Why? He was angry at what it wanted to do in heaven. And when I say heaven here, I'm talking about the heavenly atmosphere that was on earth in Eden. Because remember, Eden means spot. It doesn't mean earth. It means spot. In other words, it was the only spot that heaven could come directly to earth. So the atmosphere in Eden was actually heaven's atmosphere. So it is, let his will be done in heaven as it is, uh, on earth as it is in heaven. So in that spot, heaven was there. So when I say in heaven, we are really not talking about heaven. The Garden of Eden was not in heaven, it was on earth. But that earth is called Eden. And Eden means spot or environment or atmosphere. This is why you should always meet your man.